I like, uh... Can, I, can you, like, hit Aldwin? Oh wow, it's coming to life. Aldwin's fucking out of there. Alright folks, you're all up. Let's put the difficulty down. I don't want to be here for 15 minutes. Yeah, my fire Atronach does give zero fucks. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm a foreigner. Okay. Quite patriotic, this guy. Oh, here you go. You can, uh... Alright, we're up. Get him, team. I'll just, uh... And make it brighter, too, because, I mean, I don't... I don't like it being so dark. Alright, I'll take, I'll take command point. You guys are all up. Oh shit, there's a dead soldier. There's a storm cloak. What the fuck? Okay. He had some wine. I'll take this. Why not? I'll take the storm cloak helmet. Why not? Free loot. We like that. Is he ever going to land? Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I am Arsene. Take this naked z Oh wow, he's too powerful? Oh my gosh, what? Damn. Is he running away? Where is he going? Oh my gosh. Oh damn, he is... He is drifting. Holy shit, he just destroyed the ground. My frames are dropping. Yeah. There we go, Salukanir, more like, uh... Saluka fried chicken, that's what you are now. Oh, nice. Increased frost resistance, you know what? Ben would like that. What? Yeah, that's right, I'm really, I'm really Dragonborn. Uh, anyways... Sven. Nothing, I want you to carry this nice shield I'm giving you. I'll take that from you. Let's get going then. Sweet. I will drop this trash. Because I don't need it. And we're good. Alright, Delphine. I killed the fucking dragon and proved that I'm dragonborn. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. You do. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. Let's start with your identity first. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. I see. So she's part of a incognito type of like secret police organization where they served they they were in the dragon killing business. Hmm. But who are they, the blades exactly? Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. If you played Oblivion, Elder Scrolls IV, uh, you would know who the Blades are. So it's pretty cool seeing this tidbit. And what do you know about the dragons coming back? 
Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. I've seen the dragon that got away, though, before. That's Alduin. Really? Where? It was the one that attacked Helgen when Ulfric escaped from the Imperials. Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. So what's our next move? The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Right, and I know who the Thalmor are, are already, but remind me. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. I see. So they're kind of like a hostile takeover group when you think about it. What makes you think the Thalmor are responsible? Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? I get what you're saying. This all seems a bit too convenient, but I get her logic here. So why are the Thalmor after you, the Blades? Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. I see, now they've basically gone extinct. Except for remnants like Delphine. So we need to find out what the Thalmor know about any about the dragons. Any ideas? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. So how do we get into the embassy then? Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Sounds good. Oh, we got the key to her secret room too. Alright. Well guys, good work today. Gotta say. You guys are really getting good at killing dragons on novice difficulty. <laughs> but anyways, with that said, we have now explored Kynes Grove, a small little town. So why don't we check out what this city has to offer first before returning back and continuing with the story with, with the main story. Uh, might have to rest there though a bit, but yeah. Because now the city, this little town, should be interactable. I think there's a couple quests we can do here as well, so why not check it out? Yep, now all the people have come back. Gemma Uriel. Oh, great. Another wanderer. Slumming it on your way to Windhelm. That's right. Any dialogue for me? Wouldn't even be here if it weren't for my huh? idiot sister. Oh, damn. These Nords don't let up soon. I might need something. Yes. Okay, you're not that interesting. You just hate being here. I get it. Seen the remnants of the grove. Oh, and you're the sister. That? Well, that was me. Me and my sister. Are things not going well for you? We got the mill up and running before we found out that the big stand of trees on the hill was sacred. Now we can't cut them, and we can't afford to buy another mill somewhere else. So we scrounge whatever we can from around the tundra. Damn. Sounds like someone didn't do their uh, their research. Until next time. I see. Came here to start a lumber mill. Who knew the Nords cared about a bunch of old trees? Well, that certainly sucks. Roggy not beard. If you bring mead, you're welcome here. Ah, even if you don't, you're still welcome. 
Are you from Kynesgrove? Yes, I've wandered a bit. But I always come back to Kynesgrove. My clan was one of the first to settle here. Legend says that my forefather, Lena, discovered the mines after he stumbled into a dark cave to relieve himself. <laughs> Too much mead. Of course, there's another story of Lena losing the family's shield in a different cave. So it depends on who you believe. Yeah, quite the, quite the mead tale you got there. Your ancestral shield is lost in a cave? According to my grandfather, at least. He swore that version of the legend was true. Even found the cave old Lena stumbled into. Hey, if you find it, I could show you some of the clan's favorite fighting moves. They're all shield techniques. Well, I'll take the extra skill point. <laughs> Not like I actually need a shield, but who knows? How do you know so much about mead? Well, a lifetime of study, you might say. The best comes from Riften, but I haven't been there in years. Ever tried making your own? It's uh, not easy, trust me. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. That story about Lena's shield is true. Well then, where's that crag swallow? Oh, that's not far from here. You know what? I think we'll do that. And Janessa, you enjoying yourself? <laughs> Damn right. Well, Sven, you too. Nice. You guys having a nice, uh... Everyone's just sitting on stumps, except for Lydia. Well, I'm glad all of you didn't have the, uh, audacity to at least steal people's huts and sleep in them. <laughs> That'd be really funny to see how the AI reacts, but... Yeah. Alright, let's check in the inn now. These three people sleep outside. Who mans the inn, then? Wait, what? Oh... Okay, there is someone in here. Oh, you're the lady that ran off. Already? I'm sorry. He can come off a bit rough at times. Poor Rogi. If you're feeling charitable, buy the Norda mead. He's good for it. Oh, well, we just met Rogi outside. He's been in Kynesgrove forever. Great storyteller. Keeps everyone's spirits up. Owes me a lot of coin for drinks. I keep telling him not to worry about it, but he's got the stubborn Nord blood. Damn fool doesn't have the coin to pay me back, so he just beats himself up over it, and then he gets thirsty, and it cycles all over again. Sounds like a true Nord. What if I talk to him? If you could convince him that I don't care about his tab, it'd certainly make me feel better. Talk to Rogi about Itra. Uh, Uthgard, you, you becoming a barmaid in here? Also, why is her, like, why is her shading so much darker? It's like it's not adjusted to the to the inn here. So she's just like the shadow on Idra here is just as sh if she was outside, which is funny. Anyways, what about magic? Uh, magic is nothing but trouble. If you're set on it, there's that college Okay, of well, Hold, another magicator. But don't say I didn't warn you. Gelled the younger. I've never seen you before. Leave me alone. Will do. Nobody in here. Oh, and there's someone in here. An outsider. No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Keep moving. Dravnia. Mine's always on the verge of collapse. Good thing I'm around to keep it up. What do you know about Kynesgrove? Nosy one, huh? I was a mage back in Morrowind. I lend my talents to the mines here, helping them keep the tunnels safe. By Azura, it gets hot in there. I use frost salts for a potion to keep the heat bearable. But I'm out. Well, I could find those frost salts for you. If you want to go to the trouble, feel free. I suppose I could offer you a bit of free alteration training when you get back. How many? Oh, just one? Okay. Uh, what can I learn more about magic? Not here. Definitely not here. You want to learn? Join the college in Winterhold. That's what everyone Failed. says. Okay, I'll just go there next time. Alright, team, we're out of here. Welcome to Kynesgrove. If you want to do business here, if it's Malachite you're after, you've come to the right place. I'll pay for any you dig up out of Steam Scorch Mine. Alright, what can you tell me about Kynesgrove? So it seems the milk drinkers were right. That dragon was nearly the death of us. Yeah, the one I just killed. All we can do now is rebuild. 
Sounds good. Well, it's not like it burned down anything, actually. It just, uh... It just landed on top of you, that's all. Alright, well, let's go look for Rogi's Ancestral Shield. Working our mine is dangerous. But, uh, let's settle his tab first. Going. What do you think I am? A beggar? My family has always paid back every single coin we owed. Going back to Tiber Septim's time. Prideful one, isn't he? Stop being stubborn. Let it go. I guess you're right. A Nord shouldn't be so proud to turn down a kind soul's generosity. Tell Idra I'll be fine. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we'll tell Idra right now, just because I don't think we'll ever have to go back to this inn. Then we'll head off. Move, guys! Oh my be god. I hope you'll stay for a bit. We could certainly use the business. You won't be complaining anymore. It'll be good to not have to hear him whining about his debts. Rogi pawned a few of his things back when he still had things to pawn. Take them. Longbow, iron... <laughs> Until next time. No wonder the man retired. He has the shittiest gear. Okay, I'm sorry, Rogi. I didn't mean to throw you under the bus there. Okay, let's go get that ancestral shield. Let's be a good side adventure anyways. We've been doing a lot of main story. Let's stick to the main road. We'll come across it, I, I'm pretty sure. A lot of uh, mountain flowers too. Well, this is the mountain, so who would have thought? Is that Khajiit's corpse still here, by the way? I'll laugh if it is, because then I can resurrect it. Also, let me just rem remind myself not to eat frost salts, because uh, moon sugars are worth a lot though. Holy crap, I can sell it for 50 bucks. Damn, that's a lot of money buy an anime figure for that much. What? I like how I quantify everything in anime figures. Good lord. Oh, more giants. And a mammoth that's stuck between a tree. It's this way. Okay, do I need to head up now? I guess I should head up. I don't think the trail would go... Yeah, the trail wouldn't go this way. So I'll head up now. All right. Oh gosh, I didn't even see you. Wait, wrong, uh, whoops. I have the wrong abilities. And then I would need this, there we go. Thanks guys though, I appreciate it. Wait, the cave's further up, okay. Why is it so far up? Oh, it's on the other side of this mountain. Oh, well, this is awkward. Time to do some scaling. Yeah, this is this is how you play Skyrim. The real way you play Skyrim. You you spam the jump button as you as you climb up mountains. Um. No, I don't think it'll work actually. Oh, it, actually, it might. Um. Oh yeah, it does. It'll work this time at least, yeah, because I'm not scaling too high. But yeah. There we go, I made it. Woo. How to get to a place easily. And here it is. Crag wall. Oh, there's a saber cat. I see that shit. I'm going to get some high ground so I don't get one shot. Yeah, fuck them up. My followers are... What is going on over there? There's a mage battle going on there. Yeah, it's like a mage fight going on over there. Oh, crap. Damn. You killed my guy already? Shit. Oh, fuck. You can climb up here? Jesus. Um... Oh, nice, the crew's here. Great. Looks like they found their way up. Oh, and they, they pissed off that necromancer, too. Like, the nec there's a necromancer that's just following Sven. Hey, Sven, behind you. There you go, Sven. 
to novice conjurer. Uh, this there, there's the saber cat. All right, yeah, I'll take this. Good job, guys. We got a bonus necromancer too. Where is he? Nice. Your robes are worth a lot of money. Okay, we made it. Let's uh, let's go retrieve this ancient shield. I don't know why he couldn't go himself. Maybe he's like too scared or something. Uh, 136. Okay, I have enough. I have to watch my carry weight. That's like the one bad thing of me leveling up magic. Only magic. Alright. Guess we're heading this way. Quiet down, guys. Fuck. <laughs> Go get him! Nice. Trap the conjurer between us. There you go. See? Then she has nowhere to run. Excellent. Alright, but um... Need you guys to kind of move? Everything, actually. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta move you guys out to move in. There we go. Thanks for moving, guys. It's dark in here despite there being light, which is something that I don't really appreciate in this game. What's an alchemy lab though? Beehive. I remember when I was a kid I I shot down a beehive with like a water hose. And uh that was one of the most memorable experiences I had when I was a kid. Good times. Okay, are there any more up ahead? No? Yes? Yes, he's right there. Guys, he doesn't suspect. Just, everybody shut up. I'm gonna pickpocket his clothes from him. Fuck! I like how the... How did the Atronach find me, of all things? Oh, holy crap, there are a lot of enemies. Oh my goodness. There's two flame atronachs. Oh my goodness, what is going on there? Okay, oak flesh, and then I'll do healing. Why are there so many enemies? He actually pissed off the entire dungeon, somehow. Okay, don't get hit by that. At least they're on the line, so it makes for easy tracking. Have we not killed a single human yet? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, you know, this is gonna... I can use this, but it won't, it won't do damage. <laughs> okay. I just, I just need to use it. <laughs> like, I need to use it every now and then. Because it doesn't do damage. Um... You know, just if the fall kills them, then the fall kills them, right? So it's not like I kill them, the fall damage does. That's like big murder ideology right there. It's not me that killed them. It's the gun. Oh my god, you guys are getting fucked up though. Oh, it's an apprentice, that's why. Oh shit. No, 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 not me. Oh my gosh. Oh god, she's chasing me. Oh fuck. This isn't good. Quick save. Oh shit, am I dead? Am I dead? Do I have any potions? Quick. I need to, um... Alright. Alright, good. I need to close some distance between me and her. Hopefully she loses aggro, though. If she comes here, I'm screwed, because then I have to leave the dungeon. And I'd rather not do that. I forgot that aggro switching is like a thing, so I need to stay behind my companions. 
Okay, good. I'm hidden now. We are good. I can head back. Holy shit, that was a close call. There's no way the crew gets overwhelmed, though. I mean, that's an apprentice conjurer, so I get how it's a bit more difficult. There, I'll summon there. We should be good. We are good. Oi, oi, finish the job. There we go. Excellent. This is the one that gave me the hard time. Oh, this one's an apprentice, too. Why are there so many Atronax? Holy fuck. Who summoned all of them? Ooh. Get me across, get, get me across here. I just want to see what's behind here. I think the enemies from this room also got aggroed into ours for some reason, because we were just that noisy. But, yeah. Oh, there's the clear music, though, so yeah. That was everybody. Oh my goodness. Good job, guys. Holy crap. That was certainly, like, one of our closest calls we've had. And by closest calls, I mean me have a close call. Because, uh, yeah. Couldn't be anyone else. Alright, let's look for that ancestral shield now. Which is somewhere. Somewhere down here, because we've now cleared the dungeon. Let's head down here. Shovels, pickaxes, what's going on? And a soul gem. Well, this living quarter got fucking flooded. That Sam. Oh, it's horker meat. I love horkers. Except for the fact that they like. They're aggro on you for some reason. I thought they were friendly at first, but no, they're like. You get close to them, they'll fuck you up. Alright, let's go. This way. What's in here? Robes, magic, books. More books. Oh, bone meal. Canis root. As we walk these stone passages. Orcish mace, nice. Delve into the very bones of the earth. Yeah, indeed. I can have someone dual wield that maybe later. We'll see though. Wait, so you're telling me we aggroed the entire freaking like enemy population here? And like Yeah, there's no enemies here. Holy crap, they actually all just came rushing into the cave for some reason. That's so ironic. Like, how did we end up actually angering everybody in the dungeon at once? Oh well. At least nobody died. Except for me, who probably would have. More books? Nobody gives a shit about this. I think I've read all the quest books too, so we are good. Orker's Stew, I'll take that. Alright, we're done up here? What's down here? Orcish bow, nice. And a torch, nice. I will give that to someone for the next set. Summoning ritual going on over here. I'll take these potions though. Nice, I figured. If it's a high valued book, it's probably a skill book. Janessa, you get the next one. one. The if that is what you wish. I will give you an orcish bow. We're now good. Lead on then. Uthgird. Let's get going. Do you have a torch? What do you need to take? You do not. Perfect. This torch is now yours. Let's go. You are the torch bearer. And I think the only one who needs it now is um is Lydia. And here it is. His ancestral shield, which looks like any other shield. But uh yeah. It's ancestral, alright? Definitely doesn't have the same model.